The announcement today is about a 700 million rand investment in a supplier development fund and a customer innovation center. The supplier development fund will be a 200 million uh, rand investment. And the idea with the supplier development fund is to incubate uh, small to medium uh, black enterprises. The fund will, will have a, a financing mechanism, but more importantly, it often takes more than just financing. It takes uh, leadership development, it takes coaching, mentoring, things like how do you put together a business plan, um, compliance, and so all those things we tend, we, that we, we feel we do very well at GE, uh, we will be offering uh, in terms of helping the SMEs uh, uh, develop and become sustainable and grow. The second part of our investment is a $500 million investment in our Customer Innovation Center. And let me talk a little bit about the objectives of the Customer Innovation Center. We intend to hire uh, 100 engineers, and these engineers will be focused on a couple of things. One, as we localize our products here across our industrial portfolio, there's often a technical support or what I might call application, manufacturing application engineering support that's needed to get the localized processes up and running. Uh, secondly, we want to do innovation in country. We have core technologies, whether it be in healthcare, oil and gas, uh, uh, rail, that are, what I'll, I'll, I'll say, developed at, at a global level, but often the application uh, of those solutions requires some engineering, and we intend to do that through the Innovation Center. This is a 700 million rand opportunity for the Customer Innovation Center and the Supplier Development Vehicle, but it's part of approximately 5 billion rand that we are investing in Africa in the last couple years and the next few years. South Africa is one of our most important countries for GE. And we've developed some very important collaborative relationships here as well. We've been uh, making locomotives, as Tim said here, for the last uh, six years, five, six years. Um, but I think one of the more important things we did this past, this year was in March, we signed an agreement with Transnet Rail Engineering, where the two companies, ours and theirs, will use our assembly facility in Pretoria to basically use that as an export uh, uh, position for us for exporting into the rest of the African continent. We've already received almost uh, 100 orders from uh, Mozambique and other countries of which we will be supplying a lot of those locomotives out of uh, Pretoria. We are here, we're here to stay, we're here to, to develop and help the growth of Africa because this is the final frontier for economic growth and we're going to be a big part of it.